Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on the Westbridge Hills map in my test game for my 13th video about course play. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use course play to cut a grass field. If you're new to course play and you missed the first 12 videos, you might want to go back and start from the beginning. There's a link in the description below to my course play tutorial playlist. So in one of our last videos, we planted grass on this field over here. And you can see that's field 19. We've also planted grass on field 20. Uh, on this particular map, I like planting grass on those two fields because it makes for one big long grass field. Now, in Farming Simulator, once you plant grass on a field, course play is no longer able to recognize it as a field. So we can't automatically generate a course by just selecting field like 19 like we did in some of our previous videos. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to record a perimeter. And this actually helps us in this situation because we actually want to mow both fields and we kind of want to mow a little bit of the grass around the fields. So we needed to make a, a bigger perimeter anyways. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and start up our tractor. We'll open up course play. And it doesn't really matter what mode you're in for this part, so we're just going to click start course recording. And then we're just going to follow the outside edge of this grass field. Now, it's important to remember that this perimeter is what the mower is going to stay inside. So you kind of want to keep it towards the edge so that you get all the grass that's inside there. But you also have to know kind of what direction you plan on working the field, whether it's north, south, or east, west, because you want to make sure you leave enough room for a headland. So I know I'm going to work this field east, west, so on this section I kind of want to stay as close to the edge as possible. On the other side, it's a little bit harder because there's like a rocky outcropping, but you still want to stay pretty close. Now here, I don't want to go right up by those pump jacks, so I'm going to turn here to give room for a headland. And then once I get over here to these rocks, again, I'm going to turn, and I'm just going to try and do a straight line now. You can kind of use the texture of the grass to help you line up and keep your lines straight. Now here we'll go ahead and bump over a little bit because the field jogs to the right. Alright, then we'll turn here so that we leave ourselves a headland. I'll we'll turn here and head down this road. We want to run right up to our start point, right about here. And then we'll stop the course. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to save this course. And we'll call this uh, Southwest Grassfield. Save that. And once you have that saved, you can go ahead and clear the course. And now we want to generate the fieldwork course that 
the mower will use to actually cut the grass. So to do that, I'm actually gonna come down here All right, so then we can pick southwest grass field. And then we can, we gotta change our type to field work. And then we can come over here and you see how it says currently loaded course. So the field edge path is the course that we just made. Whereas before you would have used this and picked the field number. Uh, and then we can calculate our working width. I'm actually gonna bring that down to 9.5. And then our starting corner is going to be the northwest corner, and we're going to head east. And we don't really need to return to the first waypoint or make a headland, so then we'll generate. So there's our starting point. So then, I can actually fold that up since course play is going to do that anyways. So we just tell it to start at the first waypoint and drive course. And now course play will come up here, lower the mowers, turn them on. And then I'll automatically start mowing the field. And one of the other things I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn on the show all waypoints. This way we can kind of get a feel for where it's gonna go when we get up here to this jog. I think it's probably gonna turn around and then come back down this next row before going any further. So we'll just go ahead and zoom out a little bit and we'll watch this run and I'll put it in fast forward. All right, so you made quick work out of that field. A couple things to note about this. Course play really comes in handy here because this is one of the jobs that you cannot hire a worker to do. Uh, the, the hired workers in Farming Simulator 15 are not capable of mowing uh, a grass field. They can only do activities that are on an actual field with an actual field perimeter. So like I said earlier, once we planted grass on this, the fields basically disappear. Another thing to point out is if you use a third party map, sometimes the map developers will make special hay fields. And what they'll do is they'll take a regular field and then they'll plant grass inside of that field but they'll leave like a couple meters worth of the perimeter around the outside of the grass. And that allows course play to auto detect the field perimeter and then you can just use your automatic course generation uh, like you normally would for a regular field. Uh, there's also on a, on a few maps, uh, a few third party maps that might have uh, multi-fruit installed you can basically do the same thing if the field has alfalfa or clover. Uh, another thing to note is 
say for example you are using this mower the the smallest one the Novacat because this only hangs out on the right side you see with these two here they're kind of symmetric right so there's as much on the right as there is on the left once it's all mounted to the tractor but on this one here it, it sticks off to one side so what you have to do with that one is when you set up the course uh, you, you have the option of doing a, a tool offset and you can tell a course play that your tool is offset a few meters to the right and uh, we'll actually, I'll, I'll actually show you an example of that here in another two videos when we run the uh, auto stackers to pick up bales in this field. We have to use a tool offset with those also. That concludes the 13th video in my course play series. In the next video in this series I'll cover using course play for tedding and raking hay. If you're interested in trying out course play, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more farming simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.